Now we're going to talk about temperature scale. So as you can see in the right corner, there is a connection between temperature and cell between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So that scale helps us to understand the correlation between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The equation is this one here. As you see, C divided by 5 equals F minus 32 divided by 9. So if you look at this scale, you can see what it represents. For example, the 32 degrees Fahrenheit is 0 degrees Celsius and also 273 degrees Kelvin. So the human body in Fahrenheit is 98.6, where the Celsius is 37 and 310. So the boiling water is another one, is defined at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, where in Celsius you'll be 100 degrees and Kelvin 373 degrees. So let's talk about the conversions you have between them. So let's see some examples. So how you convert Celsius in Fahrenheit is a very simple equation. So you can see in the bottom, T Fahrenheit equals 9 in a fifth Celsius plus 32, or in the Celsius will be. So let's see some examples how to solve. So think about my friend in Paris sending you a recipe for a cake. The French recipe says to bake the cake at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. And what temperature should you set the oven which you use Fahrenheit scales? How you convert that? Hmm? Yeah. And you have to make that one. So, looking for temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, given temperature in Celsius. So, based on the relationship, you see, the, you can realize using that equation, as you gave to you, temperature divided by 9 fifth. So, the solution will be 9 fifth divided plus 100 plus 32 equal, equal. So, roughly, you can set up your oven for 400 degrees and uh, you're gonna have a wonderful cake. So think about also other situation. A person of hypothermia has a body temperature of 34.8. What's the temperature in five Fahrenheit? So if you did the equations now, you're gonna see Fahrenheit to be 94.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That should be the conversions you have. So you very hypothermia is a very serious situation. The body temperature is below the average. So let's see another example you have. So the normal temperature of chickadee is 105.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So what's the temperature in Celsius K? So I'm gonna give you, think about 1, 73.8, 2, 58.2, 3, 41.0. So before you move on, pause your video, try to calculate, and then check if your answer is correct. So, correct answer you be C. Number three, you talk about <coughs> 41.0. So if you use the equation, how you calculate that, it's gonna be easy to see how temperature reach 41 degrees, step by step. So the next one, Again, you're a foreigner here in the United States, like uh, I am. So it took me a while to learn how to convert Celsius in Fahrenheit. So when they take the pepperoni pizzas bake at 455, what temperature you need to be in the Celsius scale? So because now you're in a foreign, foreign country and uh, the oven is in Celsius, not in... So be option one, 423, option two, 235, or option 3, 221. So pause your video, try to calculate, use the equations I gave to you, and um, check the answer. Is the answer, you got the correct answer? Well, the correct answer is 235 degrees. So how you get that correctly? So think about 235. What you do is, Using this equation, you substitute 455 Fahrenheit, subtract by 32, and divide by 1.8. Final answer, 235 degrees. So another one, test you, finally. 
In a cold winter day, the temperature is negative 15 degrees Celsius, so you travel in Europe or South America during the winter and you don't know how much you're gonna feel if the temperature in Fahrenheit. So again, 19 degrees Fahrenheit, 59 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, pause your video, try to calculate and see if you can, using the equations again, and see if you can got that right. Did you get 5 degrees Fahrenheit? That's correct? Alright, let's see what happened. <clears throat> if you substitute, use that equation, 1.C times temperature in Celsius, so look what happened. You're gonna have a negative number plus positive number, you're gonna end up 0.25.